everyone, it's Tutorials by A here, and today I'll be showing you how to create a really cool bow extension to your Lumi Time watch. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how I made this purple one, but I also made this blue one using the new RainbowLoom.com Pro Collection bands, and they are linked down in the description box below in case you are interested in checking them out. But as you can see, I've, they've got two different colors in one band, which is super duper cool. So of course, for this tutorial, you will need a Lumi Time watch, and I'll be explaining about where you can get your own in the supplies needed part of the tutorial. But anyways, before we get started, I feel like I'm talking really fast. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And now without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom. You will need about 34 bands for the border of the bracelet and then you will need 32 for the bows. You will also need a hook. I'll be using a rainbow loom metal tip hook today as well as a C-clip that is the large C-clip from the rainbowloom.com, um, their new silicone bands collections such as the Sweets, Pearls, Medieval, things like that. So um, yeah, they have larger C-clips in those packs, so I'll be using one of those today. And of course, you will need a Lumi Time watch. I got this one from lumitime.com. It's linked down in the description box in case you're interested in buying one. So anyways, all of my supplies today except for the Lumi Time watch are from rainbowloom.com. And now without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by taking two of our border colored bands. You're going to use one band at a time and go diagonally on the left here. And we're going to start with our looms arrows pointing down, by the way. And then you're going to go diagonally over here as well. So that way we've got these two bands here. And now we're going to go ahead and start adding on bands for the bow. So first off, I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to go vertically on the left and then I'm going to go vertically on the right as well. So that way we've got two over here. After that, you're going to take a single band and you're going to go diagonally here. And then go diagonally again over here. So whatever we do to the left side, we're going to do the same exact thing on the right side. So then we're going to go diagonally here on the left. And then of course we're going to do the same thing on the right. After that, we're going to take a single band and close off the side of the bow. And then do the same thing over here on the right. So we've got half of our bow here. Now we're going to take double bands of whatever color you're using for the border. And you're going to double loop that or make a cap band on this pin. So I've got two bands here. Put them on the pins, stretch them out a little bit, twist them and then wrap that back onto the pin so that way you've got this cap, two cap bands there. And that's just going to be the center of the bow where the accent is for the cinch. And then we're going to branch out again to make the other half of the bow. So here's the left side. And then the right. And then after that we're going to go vertically on the left as well as the right since we always do the same thing to the right side. After that, we're going to go diagonally on the left side. And then we're going to go diagonally on the right side here. And then go diagonally on the left here. And then diagonally on the right. So we've now completed the bow. So as you can see, you should have something like this now. And sorry, it kind of dies in with my blue base plate here but hopefully you can see that and now we're going to go ahead and add on the white border for the outside now this border is optional if you don't like the white border then you don't have to add it on and you can kind of stick skip the first step in the hooking process however I think that the border just makes it a little bit more I don't know kind of like it flows into this area over here but if you just want bows by themselves you can go ahead and do that as well so to add the border on, we're going to start with whatever color you're using for your border bands. So for me it's white. And we're going to start at the top here and go vertically. And this, this is one band at a time. Go vertically on the right as well. Go vertically here on the left. And then on the right again. And then you're going to do that one last time here. Left and then right. So that way we've got verticals over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to need our Lumi Time as well as our hook now. 
And what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm just going to puncture um, through the holes because there is a slight thin skin of silicone there in the holes of the Lumi Time here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my hook so that way I can puncture through those. So just poke through. And sorry that my camera isn't seeming to focus. There we go, it's focused now. I think. And just gotta poke through those holes first. There we go. And so after I have poked through those holes, this is what I have now. And I'm just gonna go back into the first one here. Actually, I'm gonna flip it this around so that way the face of the watch is facing me. Then I'm gonna go into the first hole here, grab a single one of my border band colors and pull this through the loop so that way it goes halfway. And then I'll just let go. And because the hole is pretty secure here, the band isn't going to fall out that easily or anything, so you should get something like this. I'm going to move my looms so that way the camera can stay focused a little bit better. Now I'm going to go into the second loop and pull in another single band. Pull that through and release, so that way I have something like this. And then do that same thing again right here. Pull that one band through. So that way on our watch, you should have three loops here. And it doesn't matter which side you do this to because we're going to end up doing the same exact thing to both sides of the watch. So now what we're going to do is something that's going to be a little bit difficult. We're going to grab the two ends of the same band here, over here, and then you're going to slide that onto the corresponding pin, which is this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to add on the left first. Two layers of the band go onto this pin here. Then I'm going to grab the two center bands here. And then pull these up to the center. And grab this band here. Pull that up onto the center. Just like that. And then we're going to do that one last time over here. And if it helps, you can use your hook, since it might be hard to grab the bands down there. And then pull those over here. So that way, you've got all these links attached to the bands, uh, to the pins here. Just like that. And now we're going to start the hooking process. We're only going to be hooking the three white links going vertically first. So I'm just going to go inside, grab this white layer, and hook that vertically and do that again and again. Goodness, couldn't grab that band there. But as you can see, I've just hooked this vertically and we're gonna do the same exact thing to the right side. So just go inside the top two layers and grab the third layer and then just keep hooking this one vertically and then stop once you get to that point right there. So now as you can see, your loom should look like this. And we're going to start the hooking process for the bow. So we're going to go into this pin here and grab the top bow colored band and hook that inwards to the center pin here. Do the same thing to the right side because we're always going to do to the whatever to the right side that we just did to the left. So go inside the top two layers, grab the third, and hook that inwards here. Now we're going to go into this center pin. Grab that next band here and hook that over to the right. And then we're going to go inside the center pin again, grab the bottom band this time, and hook that upwards to the top left. So that way you get something like this. Now we're going to go back down to these two bottom pins, grab the very bottom layer, and hook that vertically. Just like that. After that, we're going to go inside here, grab this top layer and hook that inwards, go inside all the bands except for the bottom one, grab the bottom one and hook that inwards. So do that to the left and right sides. So before we advance on to hooking the second half of the bow, you're going to come in with your hook and we're going to go in through the side here. So this is a little bit hard to see on camera, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab these white bands here and pull those over the pin. Make sure you're not going inside of any bands, you're staying on the outside here. And what I'm doing is I'm going to go 
inside here, I'm going to circle around these bands right here, as you can see, and grab these white bands. And you don't have to grab all of them, you can just grab a couple first, whatever's easiest. But you're going to use your hook and grab these white bands and pull those over. So that way, you get something like this. So hopefully the visual aid helped. I don't think my words explaining did much of a difference, but you basically are going in through the side and pulling those over. So now we're going to go ahead and hook the next bands. Hook that over. And then hook this over as well right here. And now we're going to go in here and hook the left pin there and then hook the right pin inwards. Now we're going to hook these outwards so you're going to go inside grab this next band and hook this outwards here then go inside here grab this bottom band and hook that over to the left then after that we're going to go back inside this pin right here grab the bottom band and hook that forward then we're going to go over here, go inside, grab the bottom band, and hook forward. So that way you get something like this. Lastly, we're going to hook these two white bands here. So you're going to go inside and hook this inwards here. Go inside this pin, grab the very bottom white band, and hook that inwards. So now just make sure that your loom looks like this. And we are ready to take everything off of the loom. So you're just going to take your hook and go inside all these four bands here. Pull those off and then you can carefully pull the other things off. Now be very careful as to making sure that you're not tugging too hard that you break any bands. So I've pulled all that off and whoa, I am very pleased with how these tie-dye bands came out. They look really cool in this bow. So, you can go ahead and stretch out your bands to make sure that you don't have any open spaces here. I'll go ahead and fix this little spot right here later. But, we've got this thing on our hook here. So, for my first watch here, I did two extension links on each side, so that's just what fits me. But um, for smaller wrists, you can do one extension link, but I personally have quite small wrists. So I would recommend doing two on each side, or two on one side and then one on the other. But I'm just going to go ahead and do two here since I already know what fits my wrist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use double bands, slide those onto my hook, and then pull that through all four layers here and then put the end on my finger back onto my hook I'm going to do that one more time since I need two links pull that through all of them and slide this end back on so now I have something like this let me find my c-clip then I'm just going to use my c-clip and slide it onto these bands here which can be a little bit difficult so just be careful slide those on so that we've got this and ta-da we are finished with one side of our watch here so because um, it's faster to upload shorter videos and it's faster to edit shorter videos I will not be showing you how to do the right side but it is the exact same thing as what we did on the left right here so in the description box I've got the exact time where I start to show you how to make this go ahead and rewind back to that part and then follow those same steps except you're gonna just do that to this side and I'll be back to show you kind of how to put the C-clip back onto the other side so that way you don't have your bracelet fall apart or have two C-clips, one on each side. Um, but basically it's the same exact instructions like I just said and again I just want to minimize time so that way it's faster editing, faster uploading, and less fuss for you guys if you happen to be scrolling through the video. So I will be right back to show you how to join the two ends together. Okay, so I, well, I feel like I just started talking really loud. Um, so I am now finished with this side of my bracelet. I'm going to go ahead and add on my two extension links here. 
So when you're finished with making your extension links here, just use this same C-clip and slip it onto these same bands right here. And make sure you're grabbing the same bands so that way your bracelet doesn't fall apart. If I can get them on, let's see. Okay, I got one on. Okie dokie, so I've got both links on. Just gonna go ahead and give both bows a little stretch to even all the bands out. And after that, we are now finished with our Louie Time watch with a cute little bow extension. Uh, not really little, but it's cute. <laughs> So anyways, that is how you add a bow extension to your Lumi Time watch. I absolutely love how this looks, and I'm very, very happy with how the color combo for this came out. I think it just matches so perfectly, and I love how it looks. So anyways, if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, and also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and find me on all my social media sites, which are all in the description box below, as well as check out LumiTime.com, which is also in the description box below. And once again, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!